Welcome back. We are here with 20th of uh, February's Goli Besing. Supreme Father wants us to have a lighter mind and a lighter heart. But for that to happen, we have to make sure that we don't have any bonds and bondages and tied up to people and things around us so that we can get connected to God the Father and receive the love and the peace and happiness from Him and stop begging it from other people around us. Wouldn't you like that to happen in your life? That you stop begging for respect and love and and attention, and you get it all from someone who's always there for you. So for this thing to happen, God says over here in this today's blessing, may you claim number one with the lesson of become free. If you let go and become a flying bird. So we have heard many songs about let go. So. If you understand the meaning of let go, it doesn't mean that you hate somebody and you let go of that person, or you are like, I don't want to think about this person. This person is dead for me. No, these are not about those sentences which we hear in the world. It's about letting go with a lot of love and with a lot of blessings. So God here says, in order to become a flying bird, flying bird is someone, a soul who is able to connect to the supreme creator beyond this world. It's like a it's like a transcendental kind of a movement of the soul beyond your mind can move beyond this physical world and reach to the ethereal world so god says in order to become a flying bird make firm lesson of become free if you let go do not hold on to any type of branch with the feet of your intellect the feet of the intellect is like what will happen if i leave this what will happen if they don't like me what will happen if i take this decision and they don't want me or desire me and especially when we take on to the path of religiousness or a spiritual path we generally have to follow certain trends in our life certain passions in our life which are spiritual passions and most of the world is not following that so you might get taunts you might find your own relatives and friends and family members bugging you all the time and telling you why don't you do this why are you doing such a such a strong or a powerful or a difficult practice in your life why don't you live like us and that's where god says that you have to remove the feet of your intellect from that branch that means dependency what will they think what will happen if i don't follow them what will they do if i don't accept them so that feeling of them letting us go is something which is a fear so god says Father Brahma became number one. Adam became number one with this lesson. Do not think I will become free if my companion leaves me or if my relatives leave me. No, I will not become free if my relatives leave me or if my companion leaves me. It's not that I have to leave them, but from the intellect, I have to not be dependent upon their mood to make my mood happy or dependent upon their mood to make my each step count. So God says, if those who are creating obstacles stop creating obstacles, if you think like that, if they stop creating obstacles, then I'll come to the center. If they stop creating obstacles, then I'll follow the spiritual path. If they stop telling me what not to do, what to do, then only I'll be able to make my own decision in life. God says, I will then become free. Don't be with your intellect stuck to that branch. Leave the branch and move away because people will change when you change. The practical lesson that Brahm Baba taught himself was, I have to let go if I want to become free. And it's us who are actually holding on to it. It is us who are making all the decisions and giving all the different forms of reasons that why I can't follow something because I hope they don't feel bad. I hope they don't get annoyed with me. I hope they don't feel that I'm offending them. And that's where we don't progress in our life. It's an attachment. And God says, so in order to claim number one, follow the father in the same way. In the beginning, it might feel difficult, might feel tough, might feel like I've spent so many years with them and suddenly I have to move on a different path. And what if I hurt the feelings? No, you will hurt the feelings even more if you don't follow this path because it takes light to come over a period of time in darkness. So you are the darkness who is moving towards light and they will see you over a period of time and move towards the light where it depends upon whether you live in darkness or light so follow the light follow the path it is not just spiritual it's anything in your life which you like to do and you're stopping yourself just because of your friend or because of your husband or wife or boyfriend girlfriend and parents no 
गो आई हेड दे अंडरस्टैंड इट वेरी सुन ओम शांति विद दिस